Gator, your upset pick for the weekend is? Alabama over Georgia. Yeah. Um, I just Alabama is a team that's playing really well right now, given mm-hmm. that the uh, they struggled a bit with um, with Auburn to say the least. It almost had true chaos, but maybe that was a little bit of a trap game, despite it being in a rivalry. Rival, game. Rivalry games can you know stuff weird stuff happens. Um, I just look at how Alabama has played, and and I'm impressed. You know, they beat the hell out of Kentucky, they beat the hell out of LSU, they beat the hell out of Tennessee, all in a row there, and. As the season's gone on, Milrow has gotten to be so much better. His his passing has really been on point. He's an outstanding runner when he takes off and goes. And I don't trust Georgia's defense as much as you you, you absolutely would have trusted him the last couple of years. This year, I'm not sure I, I, I do. I don't know if they have that top-end speed or those top-end defensive linemen this year. Maybe they develop and be that way next year, but for right now, I don't see it. I think Georgia's offense, though, is is something that that's that's a pretty good offense, but Alabama's defense is playing better and better. So I think that it's just a, a pretty good matchup. I think it's going to be a tight game. I got Louisville, Louisville over Florida State, and that's you know I mean, it, it Jeff Brom, very uh, very good coach. Here we go. Where where did he coach before, Doug? I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, I know he was somewhere and built a winner. Did he build the winner there? Did he? Oh, he was at Purdue last year. <laughs> you went <at> Purdue. <laughs> but I can't let it go. I can let it go. I'm leaning into it a little bit now. He won't quit Purdue. He will not quit. Uh, Jack Plummer, very good veteran quarterback. Yeah, yeah but so here's the thing. Let me uh, let me look this up. Um, Jack Plummer has played in uh, how many games here? I mean, he's played – for the better part of three entire seasons. And this is like the third game that that Rademacher's going to play. He's played more than three, but well, but he's he's got 21 touchdowns and 11 picks. Jack Plummer does. Mm-hmm. For a guy that's been around the block that long, yep. Uh I would have expected better results than 21-11. Well, we'll see if he can handle the stage. It was Plummer. They can run though. Yeah. They do like to run the football. 2485399797 Kang, which is your upset? I got Washington. You know, you guys know I've been on Washington the whole time. And I think it's – people love Oregon, and I get it. They look phenomenal. I love Oregon. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> but I think they love Oregon so much, it's disrespecting Washington. Yeah. Kind of. Washington beat Oregon already this year. These two same teams. They um, beat them by a field goal, and they beat oh, them because Oregon's coach got stupid. And? <laughs> yeah, right. And, they'll learn, and they've learned from that mistake. And Oregon has changed their coach? And, and Washington has <laughs> kind of, you know – like Struggle I said, a bit. the Oregon yeah. love is making it disrespectful to Washington. I like Washington in the upset. I can't believe it's nine and a half. I can't it? either. I like Washington plus the points. The, there is something that really supports the 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 or well, there's a lot that supports the Oregon love. But I, and like opponents, you know, when they po- both played say Stanford and they both played Arizona and Oregon all that. State, Washington, yeah, State. yeah. So if you go through and you do the like opponents thing, Washington's won those games by an average of like something like nine points, eight points, something points. Oregon's won by 26 points. And Washington has flown close to the sun, but they found a way. Well, you know, Penix, I like Penix a lot. Mm-hmm. But he has not had that fantastic Michael Penix game that we saw early in the season where he's putting it up every week. Last four games, he's thrown two touchdowns every game, which sounds great if you're in the NFL. But in college football, it's good. Eh, it's all right. It's good. You know, he's thrown a couple picks during that time as well. You have to go back to the Stanford game when he threw four touchdowns. And that's Stanford. Stanford's terrible, and they beat them by nine points. Stanford's terrible. 